Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mahdi Hajikhani. I'm from Iran. Today, it's my pleasure to explain one of the most important attraction, historical attraction, which is situated in Iran. The location of Iran, which is in Middle East. According to the map, there is 17 countries. The countries which is situated in Middle East. Iran, which has the green colors at the middle. North side, you can see the Caspian Sea. And in southern side is Persian Gulf. Iran has a shared border with Afghanistan and Pakistan in right side. West side, there is shared border with Iraq, Turkey. Northwest, Azerbaijan, Armenia. In southern side, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain. Iran, surrounded by two range mountain from northwest to northeast called Alborz Range Mountain, which is the highest point of Alborz Range Mountain is around 5,671 meters above sea level, which is the highest volcanic mountain in Asia and highest pyramid shape mountain of all around the world. Eastern side, from northeast to southeast part of Iran, there is another range mountain called Zagros Mountain. So the reason that I explain the mountain is exactly back to the ziggurat, which is inspired by the mountain. The meaning of ziggurat means mountain. That's why lots of ziggurats that we have in Mesopotamia had the mountain shape. So, attention to the map. The capital, which is Tehran, and also the name was called Persia. The name of Iran called Persia. Since 1920s, the name changed to Iran. What does it mean, Iran? Iran is inspired by Aryan. The meaning of Iran means the land of Aryan. So let's talk about one of the first dynasties of Persia, which was called Elamite dynasty, or Elam in Korean language. The time of Elamite dynasty started around 3000 before Christ, 3000 BC, till 7th century before C, before the Christ, I mean BC. It was exactly the same time that we had Mesopotamian civilization. Everyone knows about the Mesopotamian civilization, which is Sumerians, Babylonians, and Akkadians. So it was the same period of the time that in Persia, Elamite dynasty was exist. So in Elamite civilization or dynasty, we had five states controlled by several brothers. It was like the federal system. The older brother was in charge to rule the capital, which was Susa. In Persian language, we call it Shush. Susa, 
this is the capital of Elamite dynasty. On that time, called Dur Untash. Dur Untash was the name of the capital of Elamite dynasty. Untashgal is the name of king in Elamite dynasty, who was ordered to build magnificent ziggurat of Chogazambit. Again, according to the map, you will see the situation of Elamite dynasty was very close to the Persians, Parthians and Medians. So Persian and Medians both respect to the Elamite dynasty. Here you can see several different types of ziggurats. According to these pictures, you will see that all ziggurats has the shape of mountains. The meaning of ziggurat is exactly mountain. Like formal time, people those live on top of the hill. So most of the historical hill or archaeological hill that we have, it was like the ziggurat. In Persia or in Iran, we have lots of ziggurat, which is the most important one is ziggurat of Chogazambil. This is my lovely ziggurat, Chogazambil, situated in south eastern, southwest part of Iran. On the right side, you will see that ziggurat surrounded by, by three walls the first layer or the first wall, the second wall, and the third wall. So each wall, each part of the city, it's actually is the city. Each part was belongs to special group of people. So ordinary people live in the third layer or the third line of the city. The second one or the middle one was belongs to priest. In this layer, we have several Temple. It's actually the complex. We have several temples in Ziggurat. And the, the, the final one, the, 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 the central one, is the royal section. The royal families could enter to this section. The size of Ziggurat. 105 meters, it's actually huge. 105 meters to 105 meters is the size of ziggurat. The most important things of the building, each corner showing exact geographical direction. It means exact north, exact south, exact east, and exact west showing exact direction. So I'm talking about 1,250 years before the Christ. They got the knowledge to recognize the exact direction. Normally, the building, each floor is built on the previous one, I mean the belowest one. So it seems that the second floor was built on the first floor. But in Ziggurat of Chogazambil, each floor built from the ground. So they are not connected with each other. A person, I mean the king in Shushinak, ordered to build this magnificent Ziggurat of Chogazambil, to give as a present, as a gift to Inshushinak, the goddess of Elamite dynasty. 
So step by step, enter to the next level was a bit difficult. So lots of people could enter to first floor. But from the first floor to the second floor was difficult. One by one, getting difficult, especially from the fourth floor to the fifth floor, was impossible. The reason which is impossible is just because catching the God is impossible. No one could catch the God. Reaching to God is not easy. You have to try a lot. So, the color, if you attention to the color of the last floor, the color of last floor is glazed color, is blue. The material is glazed brick. So glazed brick could save the light of the sun during the day and shining at night. Ordinary people, they believe that shining floor or shining room is the house of the gut. That's why at night it's shining. So whole material of ziggurat, of Chogazambil, is sun-dried brick. Sun-dried brick is the main material of Chogazambil. Here, this is the bull of Kilkamesh. I know that lots of members here knows about Gilgamesh history, the story of Gilgamesh. This is the bull of Gilgamesh, which was found at the entrance of Ziggurat. There. It was the place that they found the bull of Gilgamesh. And at the back of the bull, we have cuneiform inscription telling the story of Gilgamesh and Untashgal. This is called cuneiform inscription. Elamite dynasty was the first dynasty who invented writing. The writing called cuneiform inscription. We have three cuneiform inscription in Iran or in old Persia. One called Elamite cuneiform inscription, the second called Babylon cuneiform inscription, and then Persian cuneiform inscription, which is back to the Achaemenid dynasty. Each 10 lines of ziggurat, in each 10 lines of brick working, there is one line brick with inscription on it. So, according to the inscription, they explain the story of Inshushinak and Untashgal. So, in most part of the ziggurat, you will see this type of brick inscription has the same meaning and the same writing. Would like to show you the place which is exactly in front of the main gate of Ziggurat. This is the place that we believe it was the place for sacrifice. So people, those enter to the temple, enter to the Chokazambil, they prefer to brought some souvenirs or some animals for sacrificing. So this is the place that they put gift, present, or sacrificing animals here as a gift to the king 
or to the God who was in Shushinak. So here you can see that the brick decoration is covered with glazed. This is the material that I mentioned, glazed brick decoration that we found it in some part of ziggurat. The height of the ziggurat is around, it was 52 meters from beginning. By the time, unfortunately, destroyed, and the left pictures showing the modern ziggurat, which is now is around 25 meters. The most important things of ziggurat. Ladies and gentlemen, please attention to the pictures. This is the first irrigation system that we had. I'm talking about, again, 1,250 years ago. We move water from 45 kilometers far from Ziggurat. First of all, I have to explain. Beside of Ziggurat of Chogazambil, we have two river, Dez and Karche. Dez River has five kilometers distance from Ziggurat. But we have two reasons which was not possible to bring waters from Dez River. The first reason, the level of the water in Dez River was below of the temple, so it's impossible to move up the water. The second reason, the type of water was salty. It was not drinkable. That's why, on that time, they prefer to, to move water 45 kilometers from Karche River to the Ziggurat. But you know, the water after 45 kilometers, it's getting muddy. So we had another special system. We put some filter on the way of the water to make clean or refine the waters. So the type of the pipe, this is, these are some small, small pipe. We call it tambushe. It's like the pottery pipe. It's like the pottery pipe, which is called tambushe. So one by one, they put beside of each other the type of filters that you can see. And then again, there is others pipe there is again filter to refine waters. Another relief that I, that I could explain the relief, which is back to the Elamite dynasty. You can see there is a woman waving some cottons. And in front of her, there is the table which has fish. So, Elamite dynasty was very important for Iranian or Persian empires. That's why lots of other dynasties, they tried to repeat the way of Elamite civilization. For example, if I wanted to explain one of them, I could explain the tomb of Cyrus the Great, the greatest king of Persian empires, which was inspired by Ziggurat of Chogazambil. The tomb of Cyrus the Great, which is situated in Pasargat, is the another world heritage site of Iran. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoy my explanation. This is my dream to see all of you in my country called Iran, which is the, one of the most peaceful countries in Middle East. Thank you so much for your attention.